What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I am still here in Rome. I actually was just in Greece and just got back, but we're gonna talk about that another time. You may remember an episode or two or three ago, we met Paolo Cipriani. If you didn't watch that video, you gotta watch it now. The link is right here above. Paolo is a local Leica enthusiast here in Rome and he has arranged a meeting at the Leica store for he and I to take the Q3 out for a little test drive today. Of course, we've got the trusty old Q2 and we're gonna do a comparison, taking some similar photos with the Q3 and with the Q2 and seeing if there is really any difference. I'm gonna go ahead and call it on the front end. I believe that the experience is going to be a little better. Some of the features of the Q3 are gonna be a nice addition if you already have the Q2, but other than a little more resolution and megapixels, I do not expect you to notice any visible difference between the Q2 and the Q3 files. But we're gonna find out today. So we're gonna go find Paolo, he's around here somewhere, and we're gonna head over to Leica Store Rome and get started. Boom, Leica Store Rome, here we go. Every time I come out of like a store, I look at the used M lenses and I just want them all. But I can't have them all. I have to be happy with what I have. <laughs> like Paolo with the Q3. Okay, I've been reunited with Paolo. Hi. <laughs> and thank you. So we just picked up the Leica Q3. So Paolo, you uh, you reserved it online. I didn't even know you could do that. Yes, you can so. try, I guess, oh, their camera if you just reserve it. I don't, I don't know One if, and, yep. I don't know if my Leica store does that in San Francisco. But you are in Europe and in <laughs> They trust you, they don't trust us. Yeah. Also in Norway, I did it that too. Oh, yes. really, in Norway, yep. very cool. So we're gonna go look for a place to shoot. Paolo is gonna be shooting on the Q3, which by the way, we, I just learned that it has like incredible video capabilities. Yes. And that's what you're most interested in, right? Yes, I'm really curious about this improvement that I think is massive compared to the Q2. I've shared before that it's very rare for me to use video on the Q2. I actually did a video where I only shot video on the Q2. It was when, my, when I got these tattoos. I did it uh -huh. only with the Q2. I did the whole thing on the video there. But it'll be interesting to see how the video capabilities are. So we're gonna do a video test as well. So let's get started, man. Uh, what are yeah. you shooting here? Are you shooting some photos? I'm starting, yes, with some photos. I'm just familiarizing with it, even if it's like the Q2. Are you shooting video right now? Yes, I did Oh, know. okay. I have to familiarize with it. <laughs> Okay, so we are all set up for photos. Here's what we're doing. We are shooting ISO 200 because that's native on the Q2, even though this can do better. We're shooting at uh, one two thousandth of a second and we're on aperture four because we felt like all that would unify the two cameras and let's see what they can do together. We know that the lenses are identical. So we're talking about a more modern sensor that should technically yield better photos, but I'm skeptical. Let's take a look. All right, but for me, I gotta do this. <laughs> Paolo has been really inspired by Leica shooter Dan Baker from the UK. You know him? He takes photos of ice cream on ah. the ground. I tell him he has to write a book. He has to do a photo book of ice cream on the ground at the yes. beach. Our ice cream was not good enough, I guess. We are literally one photo in. We're walking to the Spanish steps because that's close to the Leica store. And then what has happened here? It's really warm. The camera is warm and what has happened? It's stuck. It's stuck. Yes, I just turn it off in the old way. So you gotta pop the battery out. Yes, even like this is not working. The pictures are not here. We did something wrong, what? probably. I there is just a one video. So the photo you took isn't even there? No. Nope. What the heck? I don't know. Let's try to understand. Is it possible it's pulling from a different folder? No, this one is here, so hmm. I don't know what up. All right, so the Leica Q2 one, the Q3 zero.
It is insanely hot in Rome today. 35 degrees, I think that's around like 90, 95. Very humid. Yeah, it's, it's gross. All right, here we are, Spanish Steps. Again, you've seen this already on my last video, but uh, it's by the Leica store, so it's super convenient. And we only have an hour, right, with the camera? Yes, one hour. So we can't like, you know, wander around too much. Okay, so we will admit it could be our errors in using the camera, but so far, not a great experience. Yeah, I guess it's a matter also of settings because I didn't spend like that half an hour fixing all the settings as I do with my new cameras. Right, and so there's definitely some like more setup probably required out of the box, which is to be expected. So we're gonna give the Q3 a little grace there and say, you know, you gotta set it up to use it. But we've had a freeze, we've had a file get lost. So weird stuff all around. Okay, Paolo is gonna work on some video clips now with the Q3. And we did take the time to get it set up. Yes. Somewhat. Let's hope it will work. just put the camera into L-Log. So we're gonna try some log footage and see how the Q3 color grades, just even with the same color grading that I would do on my Sony files, uh, my Sony log settings, we'll see how this color grades. I shoot S-Log3. So for those who wanna know, this is S-Log3. What do you think so far? I like it, but we have to see after. I mean, the fact that it shoots log is pretty cool. The biggest yeah. improvement on the video side for me is the 60 FPS that permits yeah. the slow motion that I use a lot. So that's really a big change. All right, now we're gonna try the auto face detection for autofocus. One thing you should always do if you're walking down a street, if you see an open door, go into the open door because you might find a place that's as epic as this. Okay, we're headed back to the Leica store because our hour is up. So Paolo, why don't you share maybe a little bit about your impressions after an hour of using the Q3? All right. I got stuck again. What? <laughs> yes, it gets stuck again. Oh man. Maybe it's a matter of firmware or I don't know, but. Okay, so in one hour, okay. Second time we have frozen up. I had to take the battery out to restart. I mean, it's obviously the firmware yes. and they will fix it. But if you're an early adopter, kind of sucks. 
I can say I was shooting videos in uh, higher resolution with log and it's really warm, so I don't know. What did you think about the experience of using it? The main problem is that I didn't have time to do my settings, so obviously I was stuck. But the viewfinder is fantastic because I guess it's improved. The video side, it's really interesting. It gave me a good feeling when I was trying to do some videos. Regarding photos, I feel like the YouTube at the moment. I'm pretty excited to open up these files a little later and take a look at them and you know you've seen them at this point because I'm going to overlay them over the video and you can make your own assumptions or comparisons about you know what you think when you see the Q2 and the Q3 files but like I said before I am highly doubtful anyone could pick out the difference between a Q2 and a Q3 file just looking at them. What I do think has been improved is the experience of shooting, but it hasn't completely been improved because it's freezing. It's locking up. That's crazy, it did it twice in only an hour. That kind of sucks. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sign off here. Be sure to leave a comment about your thoughts. Can you see the difference between the Q2 and the Q3 files? And if you are a Leica Q2 shooter, are you planning to upgrade to the Q3? Let me know below and as always ask any questions you may have. If you haven't liked, subscribed and done those things, be sure to do them. They do help. And thank you again to Paolo. Thank you. He's going to come see me in California. We're going to head to the desert and do a shoot next. That's what, that's what we have next. Yes. Because you're going to come to California probably before I come back to Italy. So we got to make that happen. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.